Okay, we're in volume 10. The last uh, books. The last of the, uh, the 10 books of the Bible story. And I am, uh, well, before I even show you or uh, read anything, we have a painting by Harry Anderson, 1957. And he writes so little tiny. It's of the high priest in the temple at the uh, uh, Holy of Holies. And then a family down at the very bottom in what looks like, oh, it's more in Canada. That they're sitting on Canada and they're praying. But that makes, you know, more sense because I guess this guy was, uh, the author was Canadian. That's why some of the spelling is, is strange for me. But this is the, uh, uh, the painting, illustration that's in the book. And then it says, Jesus off, off Jesus often prayed uh, to his Father in heaven in behalf of his disciples. How comforting it is to know what that when we pray to God, Jesus intercedes in our behalf as our high priest. Ah, that explains why he's got a... Um, a face, and then, yes, he has the scars on his hands. Yay, that's fun. Okay, so we're at part three, story ten, keep your courage. Okay. The letter to the Hebrews was written to certain Jews who had accepted Christ as their Savior. Paul sought to confirm the faith of these dear people and help them to keep up their courage. We must pay closer attention to what we have heard, he told them. Least we drift away from it. Take care, brethren, he warned. Least there be in any of you an evil, unbelieving heart leading you to fall away from the loving from the living God. We indeed we need to think more about Christ and his sufferings and how he had been crowned with glory and honor. Since and then we're back to Paul, since he wrote um we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we ha have not a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who is, a, who is very respected whose very respect has been tempted as we are, and yet without sin. Let us then, with confidence, draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Still wondering about them? He urged, still worried about them. He urged, "Don't, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. For you have need a uh, need of endurance." And then pause for yet a while, and the coming one shall come and shall not tarry. 
to encourage them to hold on to the truth they had had learned, he recommended them to of the great heroes of the past who had stayed true to God no matter what the cost to themselves. By faith, Abel offering the right sacrifice, though it met his death. By Enoch, by faith, Enoch walked with God in a very evil time. By Noah, built, built uh, the ark when nobody had ever heard of rain. By faith, Abraham left his home not knowing where he was going. And by faith, Sarah believed God when he said, You shall have a baby in your old age. Again, by faith, Abraham required to offer his only son, Isaac, as sacrifice, obeyed without question the strange command, believing God will rise him from the dead. By faith, Isaac, as future blessings on Jacob and Esau. By faith, Jacob blessed his son, the sons of Joseph. By faith, the uh, parents of Moses hid him in the bulrushes. By faith, Moses chose to suffer hardship with the people of God rather than enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. By faith the people of Israel crossed the Red Sea. By faith Rahab gave shelter to the spies in Jericho. It was a long list, but no but not long enough. What shall uh, what more shall I say? he asked the writer. For time would fail me to get to, uh, fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jehoshaphat, wait, Jephthah, of David and Samuel, the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, received promises, stopped the mouths of lions. Squand, uh, quenched raising, raging fire, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of the weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign army, armies to flight. Some were tortured, others su suffered mocking and scoring, and even changed chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were shown in, they were sawn, yeah, sawn into, they were, and then it has a, it was, uh, uh, around has pictures. Has Abel, Enoch, Noah, Sarah, Moses, Moses' mother, Jacob, and Abraham. So it's actually supposed to go Abel, Enoch, Noah, Sarah, Abraham, Jacob, Moses' mother, Moses. That's how it's supposed to go. But I did it the other way. And this is the illustrations. Few pages. <laughs> And Abel, Enoch, Noah, Sarah, Abraham, Jacob, Moses and mom, and then Moses. Okay. And it says it's a uh, calling. Okay. 
and then Q, um, uh, they were uh, killed by the sword. They went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering over deserts and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. So he retold the moving story of the greatest heroes of faith. Then he pointed the lesson. With all these examples of loyalty with so great a cloud of witness, witnesses to think about how dare anyone concern, concern giving up your faith now of the faith now. Rather, he urged, let us lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the, pre the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured endured the cross, despised the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Here is something for us to remember too. When we begin to feel discouraged, we should try to think of others try to think of others who had suffered for their faith far more than we have ever done. More important still, we should look to Jesus, who endured, who endured so much for us and is now seated at the right hand, waiting to cheer us up. Let us keep up our courage. And then as more. Crossing the Red Sea, Rahab, Gideon, and David on the rest of the, the picture. And there is what, what it looks like. <laughs> Get it straight. So we have the crossing of the Red Sea, Rahab dropping the the spies down on the red cord. Gideon with his trumpet and his torch and David and killing Delight, uh, uh, Goliath with that one stone. Okay. That was part three, story ten. And it's time for the break. And I'll be back in a little bit. See ya.